Hello guys, today we will learn how to use Infinite Runner Engine 3D to make our own Infinite Runner game without a single line of code. First, we must import our entire project to a completely empty Unity project for it to work properly. Once imported, this folder called 3D Runner Engine will appear in our project. This folder has all the files necessary for the engine works properly. After having imported, a new menu will appear in the Unity menu called Demslash Studio. To start with this tutorial, we must click on Demslash Studio, 3D Infinite Runner Engine and Welcome Window. And the Welcome Window of our 3D Infinite Runner Editor will appear. Infinite Runner NG 3D is divided into two scenes, the main scene and the game scene. The main scene contains the entire welcome menu and the store. The game scene is the scene that contains the game levels. You can have all the game scenes you want, with different levels and characters. For this example, we start by creating the title scene. First, we click on File, New Scene, and let's create an empty scene. Once we create the empty scene, you will see this message in the editor that says attention no game scene detect. So let's click here to set this scene as the title scene and then a fully functional title scene will automatically be created. This scene will already be pre-configured so we can press play. It contains the title, the buttons, the shop, and the setting of the game. And you don't need any time of programming. To customize this scene, we simply click on this main object called 3D Runner Title Scene. And we will find the custom editor. The first option that we will find is the online manual. In this manual, you can find all the information and operation of the engine and then the option to customize this scene. The first option is the game settings. Here we simply add the name of the scene of our first level or the name of the scene where you want the user go when it click on the play button. The audio manager contains all the music of this scene and you can also add your own new custom songs. You just have to drag and drop. The advertising manager there is already a video talking about everything related to the advertising manager. The option for purchases within the application. There is also already a video where we explain how to add purchases within the application. Another very important button is the OE manager. Here we can edit all the windows available in this scene. Title scene will look for the play button. And here we can edit our button. We can change the text. the image of the button, the position. In the UI manager, you can edit all the windows you want, the setting window, the no life window, the shop window, the hero window, the reward window. All these windows are customizable from the editor. The image, the text that appears, you can modify everything from the editor without having to use programming. To create a game scene, you must click on Demsa Studio, 3D Infinite Runner Engine, Welcome Window, and create a new Infinite Runner game scene. This game scene is fully functional. You can create all the game scenes you want. Each one with a completely different level. Can be a level of mountains, snow, can be water, or just a forest. It's completely your choice. And you don't need to programming anything. If we play it, you will see that it's a completely functional scene. The only thing that you need to do is customize through the editor. To customize this scene, we'll click on the main object and the full editor will be shown. The first thing we will find is the online manual where everything is explained in detail. The first option is the game manager. Here you will find all the necessary components for this to work. Here we have the initial speed of the 
player, the speed setting, where more speed will be added and the initial position of the player. Also, the characters that you have created, you just simply have to track and drop them here. Then, we will make a video where we will explain how to create a character. Now, the camera. Here we have options such as the angle of the camera, the distance, and if we want to the player not to be shown on the screen of the menu. The level system. It is totally optional. We can activate it or deactivate it whenever we want. It is enabled by default. If we disable it and also deactivate the start, the game will be infinite and will not have any limits. It will only stop when the player loses all their life. If we enable the level system, the engine will ask us at the end of this level which scene the player will be sent to. In this case, will be the scene level 2. It will also ask you what score the player needs to win this level and move on to the next one. The enemy follower. The enemy follower it is totally optional. We can activate it or deactivate it. If you disable it, you will not have a follower enemy. Then we will make a more detailed video about how to create a chasing enemy. For more information, visit the online manual. We have the collectibles, the coins and the items. By clicking on any of them, you can edit and save them. We will make a video about how to generate collectibles. Curve World Here we can change the values of the curve of the world. For example, minus 5 is a curvature upwards, 0 will be a flat curvature, and 10 is a downward curve. The audio manager. Here we can edit all the sound of the game. For example, when you get a coin or when you obtain an item. All the sounds are customizable. Obstacles. Here we can create all the obstacles in the game. Here we can create the buildings that are on the sides of the road. We can create all the buildings we want. The more buildings we create, the more random our world will look. Once you have created the buildings, to add it you must go to the pattern system. Contains all the created objects in the game. Here, in the list of buildings, you just have to drag and drop them here. For the item is the same, you must drag and drop them here. Then if we click on modify the distribution, here we can create a distribution in the left part, the central part and the right part. You can create all the distribution you want. Later, we will create a video about how to customize the distribution. The UI manager contains all the windows available in this scene. For example, if we want to edit the game scene, here we have it. You can customize everything simply by clicking on each object and the engine will tell us where it is located. You can customize all of this, change the image, the positions, etc. The pause window, the game over window, the win game window, the settings window, the best score window, the hero window, and the reward window. All these windows are customized from the editor. You don't need to add or delete any button. Simply from the editor, you can change its position, its image, size, etc. And just like that, you can make your own Infinite Runner game. All through the custom editor by Infinite Runner NG3D. Remember to visit the online manual, it is constantly updated and check my other assets where you can create your own 3D and 2D games without a single line of code. See you in the next guys!